Introduction to the characters. Marie, isn't the soup boiling yet? Not yet, madam. Well, it ought to be. You haven't tended the fire properly, child. But, madam, you yourself made the fire up. Don't answer me back like that. It is rude. Yes, madam. Then don't let me have to rebuke you again. No, madam. I wonder where my brother can be. It is after 11 o'clock and no sign of him, Marie. Yes, madam. Did Monsignor the bishop leave any message for me? No, madam. Did he tell you where he was going? Yes, madam. Yes, madam. Then why haven't you told me, stupid? Madam didn't ask me. But that is no reason for your not telling me, is it? Madam said only this morning I was not to chatter, so I thought. Ah, mon dieu. You thought. Ah. It is hopeless. Yes, madam. Don't keep saying yes, madam like a parrot, nink and poop. No, madam. Well. Where did Monsignor said he was going? To my mother's, madam. To your mother's indeed. And why, pray? Monsignor asked me how she was, and I told him she was feeling poorly. You told him she was feeling poorly, did you? And so my brother is to be kept out of his bed, and go without his supper, because you told him she was feeling poorly. There is gratitude for you. Madam, the soup is boiling. Then pour it out, fool, and don't chatter. Marie about to do so. No, no, not like that. Here, let me do it, and do you put the salt cellars on the table the silver ones. The silver ones, madam? Yes, the silver ones. Are you deaf as well as stupid? They were sold, madam. Sold. Sold. Are you mad? Who sold them? Why were they sold? Monsignor the bishop told me this afternoon, while you were out, to take them to Monsignor Gervais, who has often admired them, and sell them for as much as I could. But you had no right to do so without asking me. But, madam, Monsignor the bishop told me. Monsignor the bishop is. Ahem. But but what can he have wanted with the money? Pardon, madam, but I think it was for mere Grinkoyer. Mere Grinkoyer indeed. Mere Grinkoyer. What, the old witch who lives at the top of the hill, and who says she is better than because she is too lazy to do any work? And what did Mere Grinkoyer want with the money, pray? Madam, it was for the rent. The bailiff would not wait any longer, and threatened to turn her out today if it were not paid, so she sent little Jean to Monsignor to ask for help, and... Oh, mon dieu! It is hopeless, hopeless. We shall have nothing left. His estate is sold, his savings have gone. His furniture, everything. Were it not for my little dot we should starve. And now my beautiful beautiful... Salt cellars. Ah, it is too much, too much. Madam, I'm sorry, if I had known. Sorry, and why pray? If Monsignor the bishop chooses to sell his salt cellars he may do so, I suppose. Go and wash your hands, they are disgracefully dirty. Yes, madam.